Christian Cole standing by with loud and noxious for this main event, bout number seven of the evening, featuring two massive heavyweights, Jeff Cobb versus Moose. Moose looking to offer a little yeah. bit of sportsmanship to get this match started. Main event time. That's exactly right. You can feel it here at Bar Wrestling. Cut the electricity in the air with a knife. That would actually electrocute you if you used a, a knife to cut electricity. <laughs> but nonetheless, Jeff Cobb in a three-point Why would stance. you want to cut electricity? You wouldn't. That's the point. If you look at Cobb now, he's perhaps mocking the football history of Moose, former NFL player. And these two bohemians go at the center of the ring, both going for a shoulder tackle. Moose is just an enormous individual. He is a big, big man. He's got long legs, long arms. Moose is, is an absolute stud, Loud. And when you see him in person, he's even more impressive than you see on TV. Of course, Moose spending time in impact wrestling, making himself really into a star in our industry. Now here at Bar Wrestling. He's got one of those frames that's perfect for wrestling. Most, oh, excuse me, Moose going for the back there. Moose, close line but misses. Cobb with a massive shoulder tackle. Unbelievable, the power of Cobb. And look at Moose, right back up to his feet. Couple of scary individuals here. Jeff Cobb, bypass. Moose jumps Did 12 you feet in the see air. see the height on that drop kick by Moose? Unbelievable height by this Moose. This man just flew 10 feet in the air and he's gotta be 325 pounds. The vertical on Moose for such a big man is as impressive as I've seen in 10 years of doing this job. And Moose now pursuing Jeff Cobb and now they're brawling on the outside. And now you're getting to understand why they call this bar wrestling. The Southern California fans surrounding them as they brawl. Most of them smell like shit. Well, it's a barroom brawl. That's what we've come to know here at Bar Wrestling. They're going straight to the bar top and now. <laughs> We're having a trouble he catching the action. He might have gotten a face full of pretzels. We don't know. I want two shots. Christian Cole now getting a bird's eye view here. Trying to do my job. It's difficult to see where well, they are. There, there, there's a roof on the bar, so that makes things kind of harder. And only at bar wrestling do you see this type of action. They are literally brawling by the bar. Well, I'm sure lots of these fans are getting the footage on their phones, so it'll be on the internet somewhere. What's up with these assholes? They get their phones out? Like, use your eyeballs. We're filming the show. Just order the DVD. Some people, man. Millennials. They feel like they're not using their, you know, they're not getting a valid valid out of their minutes plan. Seems as if Moose is trying to get the action back to the center. The only place you can get a pinfall or submission in this match. But now actually electing to surround the ring. Dangerous territory there by the ring post. And Jeff Cobb eats a face full of apron. These two are so evenly matched in almost every department. Athleticism, wrestling skill, power. Good God. All of that boot. Now in the pit of the stomach of Jeff Cobb as he ate it. What's Moose thinking here? The former National Football League star. Moose popped up. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Powerbomb on the apron. He's a National Football League star, and Jeff Cobb is an Olympian. That's a great point, Loudon. Cobb, an Olympian. And both of these men having tenures in professional sports. Both of them taking their talents to the squared circle. Two of the best, not just in this sport, not just in the world of professional wrestling, two of the best athletes on the planet, bar none. And that chop. God damn. That chop, man, that's a Hawaiian chop if I've ever seen one. A, he got all of it, bro. That's some Hawaiian thunder right there from the 5-0. Hawaii, Hawaii being the 50th state. I'm not sure how, how well you're hearing that from your cell phone device or I heard it all your the laptop. Way. Heard it all the way in, in oh my Honolulu. God. And I have to say, that may be the first time in Moose's life that he has been tossed 
like garbage just across the ring. And it took a man, it took a man with the strength of Jeff Cobb to do it. I mean, you look at Cobb, I mean, he, he only goes about 5'10", 5'11", but he's literally the strongest wrestler I've ever met. I've yet to see anyone he hasn't been able to get off the ground and pick up over his head. Innovative from Cobb as he starts with that chop, follows in with a clothesline, and that's twice now he does that innovative striking from the Hawaiian. I think he might have told Jeff, uh, Justin Borden to change his pants. His pants are atrocious. He should be ashamed of himself. Look at Moose. Just getting tossed by Jeff Cobb. And this is this is foreign territory, Loud. And talk about how Moose can, can recover from this. He's never been thrown around quite like this. Moose has ever been manhandled by another pro wrestler like this. Moose is the one used to doing the overpowering. Jeff Cobb looks to be favoring his back a little bit. Perhaps those beals across the rings is a big man moose. You know, tossing 300 pounds ain't the easiest thing to yeah, do. Sometimes in the you don't realize you pulled something until a little bit later in the match. Moose now. Moose not going to let this happen any further. Turns it around. Massive chop. Oh, wow. And now it's Chop City from Moose. And every single one is cracking like thunder here in Baldwin Park. What a nightmare to be on the receiving end of that. Moose misses the clothesline. Jeff Cobb's got his back. Cobb with a deadlift German. He held Moose in the air for a good 10 seconds before taking him down. Cobb in for the cover. One, two. Cobb unable to get that lateral press. Really just sort of rolling into a cover, trying to hook that inside leg, and it wasn't enough. The wrestling world has watched as these two men have gone from obscurity as many as five years ago to being two of the biggest stars in our industry. They have truly risen to the top of the wrestling world. Moose seems to be enjoying every forearm that lands by the massive Hawaiian. He loves competition. He loves getting in that ring. What, what, what size pants are you, Rob? Depends, you know, how many waffles I had in the morning, but I'm about a, I'm about a 32 waist. I feel like Jeff Cobb's thighs are about 32 inches. Oh, yes, he could fit me in his knee in, pad. In his leg. Yeah. Cobb now goes for that clothesline, but misses in a massive what? headbutt from Moose. That sounded like a garbage truck getting dropped off the Empire State Building. Moose now, loopy, but comes into the corner. Back elbow. Moose. Going back and wants some more. Moose comes in. And a massive 300 pound drop kick. And Moose wants some more. Oh my God, Moose just hung in the air for four seconds. Oh, he's, got, he's got the hang time of Michael Jordan. Cover, but only two. The muscles of Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's a dangerous combination is what I'm saying. As Moose trying to figure a way to put down the big Hawaiian for good in this main event at Bar Wrestling. April O'Neil. Moose now mounting an offense. Fans slowly and solidly getting behind Moose. Trying to sway that momentum back in his favor. And those chops from Moose are no joke. As every single one of them takes the air out of the lungs of the big Hawaiian Jeff Cobb. Goes for the axe kick, but it's caught. Moose now. And look at this torque suplex that's only done by Jeff Cobb. And how the hell did he pick up that massive no guy? Sometimes I feel like I'm watching a video game when I'm watching Jeff Cobb defy the laws of physics. And much like a video game, Jeff Cobb now searches for the fatality. And we've seen this before. He doesn't wear elbow pads. Jeff Cobb off the rope. Bypass, another rope. Jeff Cobb, standing moonsault from <laughs> Jeff nowhere. Cobb. Unbelievable. Two count only. Like he's got springs in his feet. It is unbelievable to watch Jeff Cobb do what he does. There is nothing like Jeff Cobb on this wrestling planet. Fuck you, 
fans giving it to the referee. But this match remains, the story remains, Jeff Cobb versus Moose in a heavyweight dream match here in a VFW hall in Baldwin Park. They have definitely given each other a beating tonight. Both men. Moose. And two bigger, more brutal men you could not find. And now both men testing each other, going strike for strike. And that chop landing on the throat of Jeff Cobb. Cobb answers. And Loudon, who, who are you favored? Who do you think is the better striker between these two bohemians? Well, sh striking, I gotta go with Moose, but pure wrestling ability, I gotta go with Cobb. Solid analysis it's, it's by Loudon Noxious. Tough down the middle. Jeff Cobb, and he's like, what's up, bitch? And probably regrets it. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, those are so loud. They're just colliding. Oh, The clash of the titans. Cobb follows in with a forearm. Cobb off the rope. Moose with a discus clothesline. He got up ahead of steam. He turned Jeff Cobb inside out with that clothesline. And Moose, hungry for more, asked Cobb to rise up. Moose to the ropes. Jeff Cobb, though. Two. Oh, my God, and a flying headbutt off the ropes, knocking both men down. A couple of 300-pound steam engine trains colliding with each other in the middle of the ring. And referee White Pants McGillicuddy now at a count of five. I'll have a Choco Taco. I like that. It's Jeff Cobb first to rise to his feet, but Moose close as well. Maybe a Jeff Cobb wrestling ice cream bar. Both men in opposite corners. Cobb runs in. Massive forearm. And what will he follow it up with? Back elbow. Cobb scouted well. He caught him. Big drop kick by Moose. Yeah, and that vertical jump of Moose. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He got from the top rope. Two. He and almost had him for three. Just two. Moose just muscling Jeff Cobb off the top turnbuckle into that power bomb position. How the hell did Jeff Cobb kick out? Fatigue is definitely setting in here for both of these men. Fans in Baldwin Park letting him know exactly how awesome this match is. What a main event. What a card we've had tonight. We saw Scorpio Sky start us off, losing to Tessa Blanchard. Joey Ryan and Big Hunky Kev and the return of Johnny Yuma. What an incredible event this has been, and now our main event continues. We've seen wolves, we've seen bunny rabbits, we've seen ducks. Mooses. Moose. Off the rope. Mooses, moose eye. Popped up, over. Big axe kick by Moose. Goes to the rope. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yeah. no, he's rolled up here. He rolled him up. Two. Close. Jeff Cobb two. going for his patented power slam, but didn't get it. Big kick to the gut. And now off the ropes. Massive clothesline, and Moose turned inside out. Time. Jeff Cobb's nose broken, but in for a cover, and only one. And as you can see here in bar wrestling, it is a smash mouth style of wrestling. Hopefully we can get a good shot, but Jeff Cobb profusely bleeding from his nose. Perhaps not as bad as Brian he's Cage earlier his, this evening. It's because he's using his head as a weapon. Cobb, the night. Cobb now goes for a power slam. There it is. The tour of the islands oh, by Jeff real. Cobb. Cover two, three, and that's it. Got him. One. Unbelievable. What an effort by Jeff Cobb as he bleeds on the mat. And as Jeff Cobb breathes through his mouth, unable to breathe through his nose, Still able to put away the Impact Wrestling star, Moose. Jeff Cobb with a massive victory. Wow, what a match. Unbelievable main event action here at Bar Wrestling. What a way to top off an incredible night with these two gargantuan bohemians giving it all they got. Jeff Cobb coming out on top for Bar Wrestling. There he is, Jeff Cobb the winner. What a night we've had. Two broken noses, a few upsets. What a night it's been at Bar the Wrestling Keith, 11. The Keith Sinera came down, blood in the ring. By the way, I owe you $10 for that. <laughs> All right. I got you. All right. Thank you for joining good. us. You're good for it.
We'll stick for the we'll stick with this for as long as it lasts. But thanks everyone for joining us for Loud and Noxious. My name is Christian Cole. This is Bar Wrestling 11. April O'Neil. Have a good night, everybody. See you in May, guys. <laughs>